Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a position review from some photographs that someone has sent in to me. Okay, let's get started. The pictures were supplied by Bellin who sent in these photographs and thank you so much for these photographs. I really appreciate you taking the time to send in. If you'd like to have your own position review done or get some more tips on how to improve your writing, send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. So what I like to do is to go over your position, things are like, things we can improve on, and stick around to the end because there's some excellent new exercises that you can do to improve your position. So what do you think about this position, generally speaking? Generally speaking, I see a rider who's learning how to jump and also who is not interfering with her horse at all. And that I really like to see. She's not interfering, she's leaning forward, there's a nice loop in her range, she's, and the big thing is, number one, she's looking up and looking forward to her next jump or what's in going on in front of her. Number two, she's got a nice flat back, and it looks like she's trying to keep her heels down, and I've got some exercises a little later on that you can do to help improve putting your heels down. Also really like that she's got her hands planted firmly on the neck and I like that because it helps support your upper body a little bit so you don't fall too far forward onto the horse's neck and this helps to give that nice loop on the rein so you don't interfere on the horse's mouth. That's really important. So what really screams at me when I see this photograph is that the stirrup isn't on the ball of her foot and we'd like to have like to see the stirrup on the ball of her foot. So number one, things we like to improve is put the stirrup on the ball of your foot. Her foot is what we call home in the stirrup and we like to see it on the ball of her foot. The weight is on her toe and should be more into her heel. When you put your weight on your toe, it means you've got weight on your knee, it means you're tipping forward and you're trying to balance yourself by keeping the weight onto your toe. Keep the weight down into your heel, bring your shoulders back a little bit more so that you can stay over top of your horse nicer. Make sure that your stirrup is the correct height for you. Looks like this stirrup is a little bit long. Want to see a, a more of an angle. Your hip, knee, ankle angle is a bit too open. And to do that, you need to shorten your stirrups. One or two holes to get your knee angle a little bit more close. That'll help you stay with the horse better without tipping forward and standing up in your stirrup. We'd like to see you folding more with your horse rather than standing up in your stirrups. And that comes back to getting your stirrup the correct length. Now the correct length is top of the stirrup tread, bottom of your ankle bone. That's the correct stirrup length uh, for the flat and you can shorten it up so the top of the stirrup tread is at the top of your ankle bone for when you're going over fences. So shorten it up one or two holes. That's easy. Your seat is over the pommel of the saddle. We'd like to have it closer to the back of the saddle or the cantle of the saddle, more over the seat of the saddle. And this is, again it stems from you standing up in your stirrups. No more seat over the pommel of the saddle. That seems to be a common problem here. We'd like to see a straight line shoulder knee toe and that straight line should be more towards the vertical rather than horizontal. You can see if we draw a straight line shoulder knee toe through this rider that if and if we took that horse out from underneath her she'd fall on her face. So keep the weight down down into your heel more over the seat of the saddle less over top of the shoulders of the horse and you'll stay in more in balance with your horse. Let's take a look at the rider's hands. It looks like you have your hands in a fist, which is okay, but keep the rein should be through your ring finger and baby finger. It doesn't look like that in the photograph. So just loop out your fingers. Love the way you have your horse, your hands on the horse's neck and a good release. Now the big question is, how do you keep your seat over top of the saddle and your shoulders over your knees and still stay with the horse? Got some good exercises for you to try. Of course, one of the most beneficial exercises that you can do is ride without stirrups. So if you have a practice ride, ask your teacher, coach, trainer if you can ride without stirrups. This is a great exercise because one, there's nothing for you to stand on and push your weight against. So you cannot stand up in your stirrups. It helps develop your strength throughout your body, throughout your core. And it gets you a really good feeling of the balance and how to stay with the horse without bracing yourself in the stirrups. At the halt, try this exercise. Just simply put your hands out at your sides and turn your body. So one hand is pointing towards the horse's ears, the other hand is pointing towards the horse's tail. And slowly go this way and then 
change so that your other hand is por- pointing towards the horse's ears, the other horse's towards the horse's tail. Really good exercise at the halt, at the walk. If you have a quiet horse under supervision, excellent exercise. And you can try these other exercises too. If you'd like to have some more exercises, take a look at this book. It's a Kindle book, 20 plus exercises that you can do to help improve your riding. Some of them are really simple, some of them are a little bit tougher. It just gives you a library of exercises that you can do, and I know you like it. Download it now. Just go to Amazon.com and download this Kindle. It's really simple. I think it's three bucks or something. Another really simple exercise that you can do if you have a practice ride or in your next lesson is at the trot. This I call this the up, up, down exercise. Really simple. And it's simple, but it really forces you to feel what the horse is doing underneath you and balance with the horse. I call it up, up, down. So at the rising trot, stand up in your stirrups for two, sit back down in the saddle for one. So you stand up, one, two, down for one. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. And you'd be surprised how difficult this is if you're not feeling the horse properly and if you're not with, in tune, and relaxed with the horse. Really simple. And once you have that one figured out, do the opposite exercise. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Really simple to do. Really simple exercise to do once you have it figured out because you have to feel the horse. Here's an, a rider doing that up, up, down exercise, but she doesn't have any reins and she's doing other exercises with her arms. You can see that her leg is still and she's in balance with the horse, even though she is doing the up, up, down exercise as well as moving her arms, touching her shoulders, and that type of thing. Riding in a simple two-point position on the lunge rein will help establish a really good base of support and allow you to focus on your lower leg, keep your lower leg still. Really good exercise too. So those are some exercises that you can do to help improve your riding and your position. After you've done these exercises, why don't you take a a before and after video. That would be really interesting to see. Take a picture before, do some of the exercises, take a picture after, send it in. I'd love to feature your pictures here. Thanks now. See you later. Oh yeah. Go hug your horse. Go use this stuff. Thanks now. Bye.